Okay, I've been uh, playing around a little bit with this two-stage amplifier circuit. Um, I've done some slight modifications. I've not changed particularly the, the two stages here. But what I have done is from the output, I've put a little driver transistor to drive these NPN and PMP transistors. Now, that there, even though it suggested that there's um, a resistor there in the little circuit that I was looking at, all I did was I, I saw this circuit just for this simple stage here, and then I thought I could add another stage to it and I put a, a 10 microfarad capacitor between them and that made it sort of like no good and so then I put a smaller capacitor there and that made it good on the output so then I saw this other where you could do this complementary uh, add-on and I got that going um, but I didn't have this little driver circuit here and then I saw another part where you could add the driver so I thought okay I'll see if I can just add these things together and get it to work it's all there's no practicality here it's all just to experiment to play around with try to understand how the biosing works um, and even though I don't I can't fully describe it for fear of making mistakes um, give me another week and uh, so I won't describe exactly how it all works like you know if I adjust this here what happens to the bias um, I, I can tell you well I mean I, ca I could I can give like a brief thing but I'm, I just I just don't want to make the mistakes and sort of like be judged on my mistakes so th this is just an experiment it's just to play around with the circuit it's just to get a bit more familiarity with um, you know building the circuits and, and pressing around and you know that's that's what i've got that's what i did and and we, we do get output now i'm running this from my it's got 10.5 volts there which is going into my little boost converter to be fair it's at the right time of day where if i wanted 12 and a half volts out of my solar panel batteries i could get them um, I wouldn't I would be able to get them really really I mean because you can see like there's 13.4 volts there but by the time I go through the regulators to control the current and control the voltage um, I, I lose a little bit of power it's using 60 milliamps not because it's um, the circuits using loads it's just that because I'm boosting the circuit it's got to get the power from somewhere so it takes it in current and you and use it through this boost converter here and I'm just monitoring it here. I was monitoring it uh, there with this, but the problem is with this thing is, although having this sort of um, dial is good, it sticks. So when you're adjusting your voltage, um, well, what was happening yesterday was I was adjusting the voltage. It wasn't really doing a lot, giving this a bit of a tap, and it was it was up in like 20 odd plus volts, and that's no good when you're trying to do your circuit. So. Um, so there it is. Now I've used uh, variable uh, pots here just so I could try and get the, uh, the biasing correct between the positive and the uh, collector on here. And um, oh, sorry, is that to the emitter? No, it should be to the collector. Yeah, it is to the collector. And then I've also, um, no, sorry, sorry, my stand corrected, it's to the base, I should have looked at the, um, I should have looked at the circuit, it's actually there, like it goes to the base. Um, and I've also used a variable uh, pot here between the, well, it's basically between these two emitters and the base of this driver circuit, this driver uh, transistor. Um, that is here now these are absolutely terrible these parts played around with them for ages last night and that's why I've changed over to this 
and I've changed over to that little one down there, which is a 200 ohm uh, pop. I don't know if that really needs to be there, but in the, in, in, in the circuit that I was looking at, it has a, a variable pot there. And so I've got it set and I've put just one ohm. Because really, you can have nothing and it's still fine. But I've just got that there. So really, that's just, um, I don't think it's really needed. But it, it was on the circuit, so. Uh, or the, you know, the partial circuit is just out of a book and it's just showing you bits, it's not actually giving the whole thing. So, yeah. This is what I've got on the output. And if I adjust, I'm not going to try and do this one because the, because the wires are so loose here. It will just come apart. Um, if I just describe what's here first. On the yellow is what's coming in from from here and the one underneath it is set to one volt and it just shows the difference between the input and the first stage uh, the pinky purpley colored one the next one down that's set at five volts and you can see that you can see what the voltages are there and then the one underneath it, I don't know why it sort of bellies out down the bottom I don't know if that's the right terminology, I'll just make it up. Um, and it's got like a very slight sort of clip on the top. That's just because I'm just pushing it right to the uh, right to the edge. But those are the differences in voltages. Like I said, this circuit doesn't have any real practical application. It's I suppose the first two parts can be for headphone. The next part really it doesn't it's not even in phase correctly look if you look at the first three waveforms they're out of phase with each other by 180 degrees which is correct but the next one sort of like it's got a uh, it's got like a time shift on it as well as not being in phase or out of phase but well I suppose it is out of phase but it's just got that time shift thing going on I'm not quite sure what all that's about I twiddled and messed around and faffed around with it. It's what I was trying to do, to be completely honest, was I was trying to see if I could um if I could get it so I can put a speaker on it, an output. Now, I mean I've put this here, but you, you uh, and I'm probing here and I don't really need to, you're supposed to really probe here. Um I just added that. Because in the little description they were trying to say that this would be a, a complementary, like a power stage, and they've got a, a capacitor there, so yeah, I just stuck it there anyway. I am probing on this side of here, and then I'm probing here. Oh, I'm actually probing on the um, on the um, collectors of each. So that's it. That's I just thought I'd uh, I just thought I'd share that. Like I said, there's no real practical thing with this because if I try and well, I have already connected my um, music player into this, and if you have it on quiet, you know, real quiet, you can plug a speaker into it and you can hear it there quiet, but you can't power out of it. This is only dealing with very small amounts of uh, power before we go into distortion. But it'll be okay for headphones. I suppose the first two stages are great. I'm not sure what that second stage is going to sound like too well on headphones. I didn't bother because I just thought to myself, well, I'm just playing around. I'm just, um, you know, just getting more familiar with using the oscilloscope, getting more familiar with just playing around and seeing what happens. Um, trying to set them up. I tried doing one on the um, in my circuit simulating software, but. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't seem to get it to work properly, even just one stage. So I'm not quite sure what was going on there. But, but anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. Stop that. I'm gonna actually try and build something uh, today or tomorrow, which is usable. So, cheers for watching, guys. If you watched, and uh, 
Please don't just chuck us a thumbs down. This isn't a tutorial. This isn't supposed to be something that's going to be uh, great that you can use and you can you go and connect up with if you want to play around with it and try and make that a bit better than what it is. Uh, great, but it's not really um, anything. It's just me, me just playing around, and that's I'm a I'm a novice. Or what, what would you call me? Yeah, a novice enthusiast, electronics enthusiast. I'm not an amateur hobbyist or professional or anything like that or a tutor. I'm just doing this just to play around with and uh, have a little bit of fun with electronics. So, cheers for watching again, again as I said, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.